Maggie and Bubba are having a very relaxed day, aren't you, Bubby? Are you having a very relaxed day, honey? Yeah? Very relaxed. Let's go take a little stroll and see how Maggie's doing. Oh, guess where we found Maggie? In her usual spot. Hi, Missy. How you doing? What you up to? Huh? About six pounds? Yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, it's a big yawn. Shall we go have a dingo? Would you like to go have a dingo? Can you show Mommy? Oh, stretching, stretching. Come on, let's go have a dingo. Let's go. Mama's following you. Let's go. Dingo time. Let's go have a dingo. Okay. Show Mama. Where are they at? Oh, Bubba's coming too. Bubba says he wants to have a dingo too. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Come on. Are you coming? Come on. Let's have a dingo. Let's have a dingo. This is hard. I'm walking backwards. Come on. Let's have a dingo. Let's have a dingo. Oh, big, big stretching going on. Mommy's got a dingo. Are you guys coming? I don't know if I can open this with one hand. I'm just lazing around the house today. Nothing much going on. Thought I'd show you some of our house. There you go. It's kind of dark in here today. Let's see. Up here is my doll. She's made from a spoon. Up here is a spoon. And then she's a little kitchen doll. And my little shelf with my antique. Well, they're not... I guess they're antique. They're, I call them antique. They're just old um, canisters that I love. I just have never wanted to get rid of them. I've had them for years and years. And an antique popcorn popper that an old friend gave us before he died. And let's see. show you a cupboard I cleaned. I got this all cleaned up. It was a mess, let me tell you. My cookbooks were everywhere. Got that cleaned up. And I got this side cleaned up. And believe me, that was a, a pigsty. It was a mess. And let's see, what else can I show you? Go through here. This is my shelf of all my stuff in my kitchen. I like to leave stuff out. I'm a, I'm a clutter bunny. And let's see, in here, this is the dining room. That's my hutch. Going out there is the dog's yard. And some of my plants that I'm trying to kill. <laughs> I used to be so good with plants, but I don't know what it is about living in this house. Sometimes moisture is so thick in the air that... Um, and it's got new windows in it and stuff, but moisture is so thick that you just don't dare water your plants. They're just getting way too much. And then you look, and all of a sudden they're drying up like crazy. It, it's just a weirdest situation. And there's the monitor heater and hearth. Bookcase over there. That's my little chair with my pillow on it. My husband's chair and the sofa. It's kind of dark in here. That's my wall of everything. I, it just kept growing, but I like it. Mirror. Here's the, the TV stand. What do you call those? Entertainment center, I guess. These are my teapots. I don't know if you'll be able to see them. Let me turn the lamp on. See if that helps. 
This is my collection of teapots. That's not a teapot up there. That's just a little bowl and pitcher. But these are my teapots. They've been given to me by family members through the years, and um, some were from my mom. She's gone now. They mean so much to me. For my aunt and uncle, from an old boss that I just love. She was so sweet. That is some of my teapots, and I just love them. Oh, this is something else I just did. That's a secretary that was given to us by the same friend that gave the gave us the um, popcorn popper, and it's a really pretty piece. Let me see if you can see this. I don't know if you'll be able to tell what, but I just cleaned this all out. It was a mess too, the pantry. I got it all cleaned out and straightened up. So it just feels so much better to open this cupboard now and it's all straightened up and things are in their rightful place. And let's see. What else can I show you? Some of my things my kids have given me. It says Nana's place is best by far because she gives hugs and has a cookie jar. It's one of my favorites. And then they gave me this one. Nana's heart is full of love. And let's see, this is a spare bedroom. Spare bedroom. We've had, um, I don't know what to do with those shelves. I'm trying to think what to do with them. My husband wants to put, um, when we get all our pictures put in, that box is full of pictures. When we get all our pictures put in their binders, um, he wants to put those up there. This is the dustiest house I've ever lived in. It gets so dusty, so fast. Let's see. This is a little office in here. I'm not going to show you my husband's part because he likes to stay private. And could close this up. It looks pretty sloppy with that out. But that's all my little office stuff. And this is my computer. Galaxy Quest is on, my favorite. That's my desk. This is where all the magic happens. <laughs> Isn't that what they say? <laughs> And let's see, a little board I made up here with pictures in it. Have you guys ever made one of these? Oops, my door is stuck on my computer, on my printer. I can't open it. But anyway, where you put the padding on the board and then you put the um, ribbons on it and then you can stick pictures and stuff in it. And let's see, you guys have all pretty much seen my bedroom in my videos. It's pretty messy right now. I'm sorry. This was just an impromptu video. <laughs> I was trying to think of something to do for a video and I thought, oh, they've not seen my house. It's the closet. Okay, you can see the inside of the closet. There's clothes all over the place. This is a little old dresser again that was given to us by the family of the guy. There's my walker I was talking about. I I'm, haven't been using it for a while. I haven't needed to. And I need to um, fold it up and put it away, but honestly, I don't have a place to store it. So I have to think of a place where I can put that so it's out of the way. And the little stool is for my bed. I have a very high bed, and I need a stool to get up into it. There's Maggie again. She says, let me be in the video, please. Are you being very, very cute? Huh? Being cute as you can be? Want to roll over for everybody? Can you roll over for Mama? No? Roll over? You should hear my husband when he talks like her. She's the diva queen. She says, clean up my poop, slave. Huh? Clean up my poop. Yeah, do you say that to Daddy? No. He loves her so much. He loves... Uh, we love our dogs too much, I think. Roll over on your side. You want a tummy rub? Roll over and I'll give you a tummy rub. She does like to roll over for a tummy rub. Yes. Oh, does that feel 
so good. Does that feel so good? Yeah? Oh, oh we like our tummy rubs. Oh. I like a belly rub, too. Cut my fingernails all off. I'm going to try and grow them out healthier. This is the... This is my, um place where I film at. This is when I'm filming. This is what you see. Um, well, you don't see this, but I'm not kidding about the dust. I don't know if you can see this when I run my finger across there and I just dust it. It is just thick. I just, I have to be dusting all the time. This is an angel my husband got me one time when I had surgery and he didn't want to get me flowers, so he says, I'm going to get you an angel to watch over you. And I adore this. Yeah, and that's a bear that my kids got me. Here's my little grandkids. Here's my kids when they were little. My grandkids when they were little. Aren't they precious? I don't know if you can see them. And this is my wedding picture. I don't know if you can see that. We were such babies. Such babies. Anyway, that's where I feel mad. I set my camera up here on this. And um, sit back here. That's why you hear the dresser. Because this dresser has these things on it. This is a skincare line I'm going to do a video on. It's called Aura V. RV. I don't know if any of you have heard of it, but I'm going to do a, a video on that. That's why it's setting up here. These are my little lights I was talking about uh, that my son got me. I'm going to blind you. Um, and they were, you know, good enough for now until I can get something better. I want to be able to get another camera. And this is my little glasses case thing, and I found out if I just stuck one of my pins in there, I could stick my watch and everything on it at night, and it holds it right where I want it. The mirror, and these are my necklaces hanging up. I don't know if I've ever showed you just a little thing I made. I need to make a new one, but that was just one day. I just really needed something to hang necklaces on. I have made a bunch of new necklaces. I really got into a a um, necklace making, and this is the first necklace I ever made. Made this one with a an old earring. I, I the other one broke, so I just put it on a chain. What else have I made? Anything else? I don't know if you guys have seen this one. It's just a real pretty pink and white. I don't know if you've seen this one. It's my cross. And let's see. Oh, these are pretty. I made these for spring and summer. Just put chain on them and stuff like that. And made them out of light colors. And I made this one. Anyway, some new necklaces, and then I made some new, a bunch of new earrings. Yeah, I don't know if you'll be able to see them up there. I really got into this style for a while, and I think I made Susie's too long. I'm going to make her some other ones, I think, that are shorter. Send those to her. So, Susie, if you watch this, you'll be getting something down the road. These are one of my favorite pairs. They're a little bit even long on me, but I still like them. So... This my daughter-in-law got for me, and it is one of the sweetest things. It says, you are the mother I received the day I wed your son, and I just want to thank you, Mom, for all the things you've done. You have given me a gracious man with whom I share my life. You are his lovely mother, and I his lucky wife. You used to pat his little head, and now I hold his hand. You raised in love a little boy and gave to me a man. And I just, that was so sweet of her. She is so precious. What a precious, precious girl. This is our, he's nine years old now, but this was our little guy 
we always got a kick out of this picture. This one here, he's looking like he was, he was one year old here, and he's looking like I'm real tough. This dog is still with him today. Doesn't look that good, but dog is a very important part of his life. Even though he's nine years old now, he loves his dog. So, anyway... Just a short video to kind of show you guys. This is Bubba's thing. He's got it all messed up. This is where Bubba lays most of the time on his little pad. So anyway, just a short video to say hi. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.